Just starting chores this morning. We're gonna check out and see if we had any calves in the buildings overnight. Hello. Before we went in the house last night, she had a calf. Looks like there aren't any new calves out here. You know, if you could have just waited five seconds, you would have been outside and you could have pooped out there. But do it right there, it's fine. We got about 11 really close up cows over in that building. And so we will go let them out so they can get food and water. And I'm guessing there's gonna be a couple calves in there. You guys ready to come out? All right, who's claiming this one? Is that you? Sniff it. So in the mornings so when you come out here and there is a new one, we kick everyone else besides the mom out. That way we can watch them, make sure the calf is sucked, and make sure they're just both figuring it out. And then we do end up letting them out, obviously, because the cow's got to eat and drink. Yep, let's go, ladies. Food's to the left, not the right. There you go, she's got it figured out. Perfect. Oh, yeah. We're gonna get feeding here. The first load goes out to the cornfield where all the pears are at, or not all, but a lot of the pears are at. Dad likes to call this cow legs. Pretty tall. It's interesting to me how dad feeds hundreds of cattle every day, but I gotta fight and claw just for him to make me lunch every once in a while. And I'm his own son. Tell me how that works. Up next, we're feeding the bulls. Right after that, we're going to the north lot, feed the heifers. Got something to do. It'd really be nice if we could have two uh, displays on that thing so we don't have to constantly turn it. If I had a dollar for every time I got in the tractor and noticed it wasn't facing the right way, I'd probably have enough dollars to buy a semi load of corn. But what is that, like 40 bucks? Oh, so that's what she's got going on. Come on, Ellie, put it in. Unfortunately, I have class in 18 minutes, <clears throat> and then I have another one after that. So I gotta go in, watch some lectures. The cows that I kicked out this morning, 
they're almost out of hay in their bale feeder. And since the ground is frozen this morning, we're gonna we're gonna feed them a bale quick. And I'm probably gonna be late for class. Hey, put that away. This is a family show. Yikes. I gotta go, I got class. I got class too. What are you learning about? No, I just have class. Are you gonna sit in with me or it's what? It's a different meaning. I got class. Oh. Hi, Garrett. Well, I guess I was inside so long, it's a brand new day. The sun came out and it's actually pretty nice. I might get to take this winter jacket off here in a little bit. Start by running these girls up in the building so they can get some water. Might get nice enough today to drive the yard. We'll go grab some pellets and head over to that pasture. They're excited. A lot of these girls were older cows that were not very fond of us to start with. It's amazing how much they've changed. Oh, hey, get out of my bucket. <laughs> One thing that I'm really excited about is how the calves have responded too. The, the calves learn so much from their moms. A lot of these calves are letting us get super close to them. And so I think we're getting a really good jump start on getting them tamed down. Since all these girls have done so well with the pellets and they're starting to just really love seeing us come around. This summer, at least once a week, I'm gonna be going to every pasture and bringing some Dakota gold with me and hopefully our whole herd will be changed and it'll just make working with them so much nicer. How many times do I gotta tell you? Huh? See, he knows what to do too, just runs right back in. Side by side got muddy again. I washed this off last week. Dad, remember when we were trying to start this pressure washer about eight days ago? Yep. We pulled and pulled, I swear, for 30 minutes. Yeah. And then we ended up pulling the spark plug out. We tried putting in a different one, and we just kept working on it. And she wouldn't even, oh, she, she wouldn't even give us a sign. And then about two hours later, I came back. My first pull, it started right up. I think we flooded it so bad it wouldn't even take off. So, yeah. so uh, hopefully it's one of those one pole kind of deals. Yep. Ah, oh, wasn't a one pole. This is gonna take a while. I'm getting hot. better push those two cows out so they can go get some food. I did already. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah. All right, well, no sense in me videotaping that then. <laughs> We're in our west lot where our first 20 pairs are in. This lot has been muddy. It's just been not in a good condition. And I, Dad and I are thinking that these cows and calves have had enough. We'd like to wait for our pasture next door to get a lot more growth on it, but it's just, it's just too wet. And I'm sure in a week, it wouldn't be too bad. And we don't really wanna put holes in that, you know, put footprints out in that grass. But we're not, we don't wanna risk our calves getting sick out in this muddy, muddy mess. And so we're gonna push them all out. And so dad's shutting a few gates, that way they can't get out of there. And we'll start chasing them out. Come on, cabbies. Go! Look at the curve on this girl. Oh my lanta. 
I think they're happy. I think we need to trade in our four wheelers again. Or we could wash them. It's so much fun buying new stuff though. Bring the check sucks. <laughs> a friend that owns a feedlot. Ellie, you're shitting like crazy. Just a few miles west of here, and we're gonna go over there and help him uh Me implant him, pour him. And give him a vaccine. Two vaccines, seven way and uh an express five. Yep. So Dad's just making some tags out quick to get prepared and we'll be headed down the road. Alright, I think these are the heifers we're working. And we're over at Andy's. He's got a pretty sweet setup. Got a big sweep tub right here. And so they head up into there and then they weave around. And this is pretty sweet. Can't jump up out of there. Then come into where the head gate is, where the chute is. And he's got a hydraulic chute. Working them cattle over at our friend's place. Dropped off a protein tub. Now we're gonna head back home. We walked back there by the bale to check if anything's going on back there and there's a new calf laying down there. So we're gonna go grab the sled, put it in the sled, lure the cow into the building. Okay, go. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us today. Had a few calves, worked some cattle. What we do earlier? Oh, we fed some cattle. So uh, every day we do that. We do do that. But what else did we do? I probably watched an online auction. You probably, probably did. Probably then. Yeah. I suppose. So thanks for hanging out with us today. See you next time. Bye. treating that calf and the goo and I went in over my boots that is the worst smelling stink on my pants right now yeah you're sleeping in the shed tonight you stink I just I'll hide it in the bottom of the what's that thing called that I throw dirty clothes in hamper <laughs> I'll hide it in the bottom of the hamper <laughs>